Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review and today I'm here to talk to you guys about Graveyard's new album, Peace. It comes out May 25th on Nuclear Blast and it's the band's fifth studio album. The album has 10 tracks and it's 43 minutes in length. And this was my first time listening to this band, so this was my first experience listening to Graveyard. Um, and let me tell you, I, I, I wasn't sure what, the, what I was getting into. I wasn't sure what kind of music I was going to be listening to and what a treat it was because I really felt like I walked into a time machine and when I walked out of the machine I was in the 60s because the band and the album itself really captures what it was the sound of that generation the sound of that era it really encapsulates bands like Jefferson Airplane, Jimi Hendrix, The Doors, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath uh, it, it really it just to me it really felt like a mixture of hard rock with more blues, uh, rock blues, if you will, and psychedelic rock. All, a lot of the influences that were around in that time period, and I really dig that. If you told me that Graveyard was releasing the album Peace, and that album was actually released in 1968 instead of May 25th, I totally believe it, because the whole album and the, the band really has that that era, uh, aura to them, and, and this album is really a showcase of that. Now, as far as the album is concerned, I really felt like the album itself was really a journey through that time period. Uh, I, I really almost felt like if if the 10 different bands from that time period created 10 new songs and they were put, in, put into a compilation album, this album would be it. Because I really felt uh, the, the difference from song to song throughout the album. There are consistencies, um, the incredible guitar work is one of those and the vocals are is another but to me this album really feels like a combination of, of different styles from that era from that from that time period but showcased in a different way from song to song so from song one to song 10 every single song offers the listener something different and something different from that time period like I said almost like they grabbed a, for the 10 songs they grabbed a little piece of something that they liked in 10 different bands and they created 10 unique songs all within one same umbrella but all very unique in their own way I really like that because it was really a refreshing listening experience because it didn't get mundane it didn't get repetitive uh, it, it was just really f there was a lot of fluidity to the album it just really felt like it really carried itself really well throughout the 10 songs it almost felt like I said, like a compilation record from that time period. Uh, the guitar work is one of the consistencies of this album. Unbelievable guitar work. The songs, the melodies of the songs are really carried forward with the guitars. And the guitar work in this album proves one thing, that classic guitar playing style, classic guitar solos never get old. They're timeless. And this album proves that point that you don't have to be gent, you don't have to be funky, you don't have to be groovy, you don't have to create all of these new words to describe the way you play your guitar. When you play the guitar well, and when you have that classic rock and roll vibe to your guitar playing, your guitar playing is timeless. And this album to me is proof of that. They were really able to capture the essence of what it is uh, to play guitar in that time period, transport it to today, and make really cool, groovy, uh, psychedelic songs all all of these songs are really given to us, uh, the melodies and the, and, the, and the charisma in the song itself is all given to us through the guitars for the foremost. Obviously the, the vocals are a huge aspect of the songs in this album, I really enjoy them because they added so much coolness and, and melody but they also added that time period. The, the, the vocals and the guitars really felt like they were transported through time and that to me was a really cool aspect of the album and it was a really cool aspect of this band that they're really able to in modern day present day 2018 create albums and create music that really feels timeless that really shows that when you create good quality music it doesn't matter the style that the music is you don't have to be super innovative to, to be creative and to make quality work and they, i think they proved that with this album the, the, the guitar riffs in this album are, are something something to be amazed of. Uh, and I really like some of the songs that have more the, of that psychedelic vibe to it because that is really given to us through the guitar work in this album. To me, the guitar work is perhaps the, the plus plus in this album with the vocals being the plus of the album. Those two, those two dynamics uh, together are really the life, the core of this record and are the two consistencies from song one to song 10. Everything else changes everything else in terms of what each song, the dynamic of the song, the lyrics of the song, the style of the song, all of that changes from song to song. 
the consistencies are the vocals and the quality of the guitar work. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, uh, there are three that I have to mention. Uh, those three uh, were not easy for me to pick, just because that out of the 10, there were a lot of good choices. There were a lot of good songs. I heard the album perhaps four or five times now, and every time I hear the album, I discover something new in a different song. And what I thought was my favorite song, then I'm like, oh no, I like this other song now because I'm constantly discovering new, new nuances, new things, new, new new aspects that I didn't that I didn't pay attention to or I, I wasn't listening the first time around. But as far as my favorite three songs, when I really have to put down uh, pen to paper and pick three songs, I have to start with the Fox. Uh, I really like that song. Perhaps one of the shortest songs of the album but such a badass psychedelic rock song. This song is such a cool throwback. I mean, honestly, this song was to me one of one of the cooler, um, groovier, psychedelic songs in the whole album. Uh, I really like the texture and the unique style of the guitar playing in this album that really gives that psychedelic vibe to the song. The raspiness in the vocals are the second aspect that make this song really great. It just adds to that whole uh, era of the 60s, that whole psychedelic era of the 60s. And they were really able to encapsulate that into this song with the amazing raspiness of the vocals and obviously the psychedelic uh, riffs of the guitar. The, the, the guitar is drenched in melody, but it, it just it gives you that extra thickness, that extra psychedelic vibe to the song that is absolutely amazing. And it's such a short song, but it just packs such a huge punch that I had to mention as one of my favorite ones. Uh, another one is Please Don't. This one is more of a blues, rock song if you will uh it has a, a, a different vibe almost feels to me like a song that if you told me that this song came out uh musically not 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 with the vocal delivery but musically this song could totally be a song that's included in morrison hotel the album from the doors i could totally see this song being part of an album like that because it included that classic keyboard in the background very fainted in the background, but it, it becomes more noticeable as the song progresses. And then even they threw in a little bit of a keyboard solo into the song that totally, totally reminded me of The Doors, what they used to do with songs like Roadhouse Blues. Like it just totally reminded me of, uh, of those of those songs of that era, uh, of that kind of music. And, and it just took me back to uh, a place in time that it, I'm really fond of. So this song really allowed me to travel through time while sitting in my living room. Such a cool experience, such a cool song. Uh, last but not least, the first song of the album, It Ain't Over Yet, and this is a blistering, blistering rock and roll song from the moment it starts to the moment it finishes. What a cool way to introduce a listener to the album. In my case, this was the first ever song from Graveyard that I listened to. So what a cool way to be introduced to the band with the absolutely balls to the wall, blistering rock and roll, hard rock song with super catchy chorus, super catchy chorus, and what makes the chorus even more hooky and more catchy is the background vocals that they use in the chorus that really adds layers and thickness to that chorus, but also a lot of melody to it at the same time. This is one of those timeless songs. It's just really, it's full of, 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 of coolness, uh, and, and the guitars also have a lot to do with it because the grooviness of the guitar riffs, the, 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 the speed of the tempos of the guitar playing in this song, are absolutely incredible. It just adds so much melody, so much rock and roll to it. And then, once again, when you add the raspiness of the vocals to it, it just makes a song that's so fast tempo, that's so, you know, so full of emotion, that raspiness of the voice, it's really that counter balance. It, it counteracts that speed and, and it gives the song a little bit of a more drawn out, mellowed out vibe to it. So it's it's two polar opposites, the, the, the tempos of the song and the way the vocal delivery comes in into that song really are two things that counterbalance each other but work so well together because it's almost like one one thing is trying to speed away while the other one is trying to hold it back and that dynamic is what makes this song extremely cool and, and a really cool experience to listen to i really enjoyed this song anyways this is graveyard peace uh the new album like i said out out may 25th on nuclear blast I want to hear from you guys what you guys have to say about this band graveyard let me know in the comment section below i'll be looking forward to, to checking those comments let me know what your thoughts are on this album what are your thoughts are on this band did you did you guys hear about this band before i know they have four previous albums i really want to know from you guys what your thoughts are on the band on the album on this music on my views do you really agree with me about the psychedelic touches a little bit 
uh, of the keyboard playing uh, and please don't the, doesn't it sound a little bit like the doors like really i i really want to hear what you guys have to say i really truly enjoyed this album a really cool album to listen to uh, a really down to earth solid 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 rock and roll album i really enjoyed it take care guys <laughs>